Hi, welcome students. Today we're going to talk about chapter 18.2a and b, and that's about balancing oxidation reduction reactions. I hope everyone submitted uh, the online worksheet on oxidation numbers. So let's repeat a little bit. Oxidation means loss of electrons, reduction, gain of electrons. To remember that, you can use the Leo the Lion, or what I mostly use, oil rig. Oil oxidation is loss, or rig reduction is gain. So we talked about some oxidation states, oxidation numbers, there were some rules. So important rules, oxygen, all, most of the time it has an, an oxidation number of minus two, except from peroxides. NH, when in molecular compounds or covalent compounds, has plus one. And sometimes we have to include the overall charges. So if we have just atoms like Na or calcium or Cl2 or whatever, in an element is just zero. Some rules we have. Let's practice with that. So we have four, I have here four situations. H, P of four, two minus. So we know H is plus one, O is minus two. So that makes for minus two times four is minus eight for oxygen. Plus one means is minus seven when we include H. And then we have overall is minus two. That means P is plus five. For BO2, it's just an element, it's zero. SO4, two minus. O is minus two, times four is minus eight. Overall charge is minus two, so that means S should have an oxidation number of plus six. CH4, it's a molecular compound, so H is plus one. Four times plus four, overall it's neutral, so C must be minus four. Oxidation reduction numbers. Oxidation numbers. So now we're going to talk about oxidation reduction reactions. Uh, uh, previous chapter we talked acid base is transfer of protons, H+, plus, for oxidation reduction reaction. We're going to transfer electrons. Because electrons are transferred, that will mean my oxidation numbers will change. So oxidation, so loss of electrons, losing electrons, results in an increase of oxidation number. Example, copper to copper 2+, plus, it goes from 0 to plus 2. You see, it's increasing. Gaining electrons for reductions leads to a decrease of oxidation number. For O2, to O2 minus, and I need a 2 because I have two oxygen atoms here. So it goes from 0 to minus 2, so decrease in oxidation numbers. So let's look now at a reaction. I fear I will have three examples. The first, magnesium plus hydrochloric acids, HCl results in magnesium chloride solution plus H2 gas. I included the charges here. You see Cl minus over here and Cl minus on the other side. So there's no change in oxidation state for Cl. So it's not going to it's not being reduced and not oxidized. Well for magnesium it goes from zero, it's here, you see no charge here, and here to two plus. So it's losing two electrons. So it's oxidized because it goes from zero to minus two. It's producing two electrons. Other H plus goes to H2, and their oxidation states go from plus to zero. So it's gaining electrons. Two H2, it's two electrons, H2. And this is what we call half reaction. We have a half reaction for my oxidation reaction, and we have a half re reaction for the reduction half reaction for the oxidation. Magnesium producing magnesium 2 plus plus 2 electrons producing electrons because oxidation means loss. Reduction half reaction, reduction gains. So 2H plus plus 2 electrons becoming H2. So these are the half reaction. When we have oxidation reduction reaction, we always have two half reactions one for oxidation, one for redu reduction. And you see, an and half reaction always contain electrons. For the oxidation half reaction, we're producing, so look on the right hand side of my reaction arrow, the reduction half reaction, they're gaining, they're using the electrons, so the electrons will be on the left hand side of my arrow. Another example, I have an unbalanced reaction. Cerium 4 plus plus tin 2 plus becoming cerium 3 plus plus tin 4 plus. We see charges are changing, 4 plus to 3 plus, 2 plus to 4 plus for tin. So it's oxidation reduction, it's unbalanced. We're going to balance it based on my half reactions. So cerium four plus 
is reduced because it's gaining electron producing Ce3+. Production is gaining and my oxidation number goes down. So that means the other one has to go up. And we go tin 2 plus, go to tin 4 plus. It's losing two electrons. So these are my two half reactions. One for reduction, cerium 4 plus, plus electron becoming cerium 3 plus, tin 2 plus, becoming tin 4 plus, plus two electrons. So you see, I have my two half reaction. And a half reaction always contains electrons. But if I want to have my final total reaction, I never have electrons. So we have to balance the electrons from the reduction half reaction and the oxidation half reaction out. How can I do that? For this reaction, I multiply the first reaction times 2, creating two electrons here in the, in the reduction half reaction, and the oxidation reaction times 1, because now I have two electrons here and two electrons on the reduction half reaction. They cancel out. And this will be my final reaction. 2 cerium 4 plus plus tin 2 plus becomes 2 cerium 3 plus plus tin 4 plus. Always check your reaction at the end, the type and number of atoms. So 2 cerium, 2, two cerium, 1 tin, 1 tin. But also specific for oxidation and reduction reactions, the charges. 2 times 4 plus makes 8 plus and 2 plus. 10 plus before the arrow. And after 2 times 3, 6 plus 4 is 10 plus, 10 plus after the reaction. Balanced as well. I have a step plan for that, to do that. So, step 1. We separate the reaction into oxidation and reduction half reactions. Balance each half reactions. Equalize the number of relaxed lost and gained. So, in the oxidation and the reduction half reaction. And add the two half reactions to my Total reaction. Final ex um, example. I have sodium plus chlorine gas becoming NaCl, kitchen table salt. And NaCl, Na plus Cl minus. Oxidation means a loss of electron. Which one's losing? Sodium, because it goes from oxidation number zero in Na to Na plus. This is oxidation state is plus one. So, half reaction. Na becoming Na plus plus E minus. So it's when sodium is oxidized, that means Cl is reduced. And we can see that it goes from 0 to minus 1. Another half reaction. Cl2 plus 2 E minus becoming 2 Cl minus. So now I have my two half reactions. And we see in the oxidation I have half reaction. I have one electron. And in my reduction half reaction, I have two electrons. So to get my final, my total reaction, I have to multiply the first reaction by two. So the oxidation reaction for this specific example. And one time my reduction reaction to equalize the electrons. And then I will have two electrons for the oxidation half reaction and two electrons on the reduction half reaction. And when I'm adding up, they canceling out. And this will be my final reaction. 2Na plus Cl2 producing 2NaCl. Okay, guys, this was the final one. And for next class, I want you to study chapter 18.1 and 18.2a, and b, I think, as well. And then I have a final for the year, final worksheet on oxidation and reduction reactions. That was it for today, guys. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.